To be honest, I would like to know how you got scammed. Shanique, you wanna come be in my video? You wanna come be in the Q&A? Oh, hi. Hello, Shanique. So, I've got some questions. I asked you, I told you guys to ask me questions on my story. <laughs> and, uh, so, I'm gonna try and answer them now while I cuddle this little baby. What is your deepest fear? Way to start things off with a bang. Hey, my fears are kind of, they stem from instances that have happened over the years and different recurring nightmares I had as a child. So my four fears are pigs, sheep, goats, and emus. Um, different stories of different animal attacks and nightmares. I, especially goats, goats are the worst, seriously. No goats or talking animals, period. But seriously, no goats. What is your favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse is Jeremiah 29 11. You should look it up because it's the best verse in the Bible. How do you like Texas? We love Texas. Um, except for the traffic. Seriously, the traffic and the whole toll road thing. That is uh, it's a new concept to me. The traffic is unbelievable. The most random times during the day too. So that sucks. Um, and uh, the weather needs to figure its shit out. Other than that. I love Texas. What motivates you and how does it feel knowing you help others? Um, I have various motivations depending on which topic in my life. Um, just got right towards my motivation. Um, my family also motivates me. Um, a desire to be in law enforcement again one day motivates me. A desire to be a better person each day motivates me. A desire to compete again. Plans to compete again motivate me. Um, and really just wanting to accomplish a lot with my life. and. Um, be who God created me to be. Oh, and how does it feel knowing that I help others? Um, I think that God put me on earth to help others. I try to be a helpful person. Um, he gave me a very sympathetic and empathetic heart. Um, and so I love being able to help people. One of the reasons I loved being in law enforcement and one of the reasons I want to be in law enforcement again. Um, so being able to help you guys through my channel is absolutely necessary for my survival um, and it makes me so happy knowing that I can and do help a lot of you. To be honest, I would like to know how you got scammed. Well, first of all, you can't really call it a scam because whatever this guy's actual name was, he didn't walk away with anything. He didn't request any money or bank account information. He, all he really got was like my cell phone number and, and communication with me for a time period. He also um, didn't ever ask for like nudes or anything like that. So I really don't think it was a scam so much as just this really pathetic human being that wanted attention. However, maybe down the road, that's what his plans were to like take it that way. Long story short, this individual reached out to me um, on my birthday and said that he was working with Marvel on a project and that he wanted to cast me in his little short film that he was creating. And over the span of like six days, there was different plans that were made, um, money that was promised um, to me and opportunities and all this kind of stuff. But as it went on, it got, it got really weird. And I kept thinking like, First of all, why is it that I have not FaceTimed with any of these other people? Why don't these other people, because I was in communication with theoretically his assistant, um, the president of Marvel, uh, Chris Hemsworth, and, uh, and a couple of the other girls that were theoretically going to be in this movie with me. So I was in contact with all these other people, but none of them ever like phoned me, none of them mad at me on Instagram. It was all either emails or text messaging. So it started to get really fishy. And then eventually we did plan a FaceTime with um, Kevin Feige, who is the president of Marvel Studios, but he backed out last second. And that's when I finally had had enough. I started phoning all of the numbers that I had, all the different contacts, and they all came back to like the same pre-automated voicemail that you get if you ever called somebody that had like um, an application for creating other fake numbers. Um, so then I kind of called him out on it. Um, and his whole attitude was that I was being disrespectful and he, and he cut me from the project. Um, but, so that's what happened. It sucks that it happened, but you know, everything happens for a reason. I learned a lot from it. 
Uh, the thing that was really crappy though is that like my friends and family were involved in this. That's what sucks. So um, I believe in karma and I believe in God and I know that whatever that guy's real name is, we'll get what's coming to him. What made you get into bodybuilding? I always like trying new things. That's a lie. I never like trying new things. Um, I like trying new things within the realm of fitness. So I tried powerlifting, I tried Olympic lifting, and I wanted to try a bodybuilding show and competing in bikini. I had a really great time. I did not expect to like it as much as I did. So that's how I got into it. Now I'm hoping to do a figure show, God bless you, in June. Excuse you, sir. But that is how I got into bodybuilding, um, starting with fitness. I'd already been into fitness for several years before I did my first show. Excuse me, sir. What is your dream gun? <laughs> I mean, if I could just have a Humvee parked out in my backyard with a turret and everything and have a mounted 50 cal in there, that'd be pretty rad. However, that's never gonna happen. Um, so I would like to eventually build my own AR-15, um, but as for dream guns, I'd have to be a 50 cal. Are you not nervous about taking a lot of supplements? No, I am not nervous about the supplements that I am taking. Would you ever date a follower? Or would you ever go on a date with a follower? You know, I found them attractive or that it seemed like we had a lot in common. This is not an invitation to blow up my DMs with um, asking if I'll go on a date with you because the answer is probably no. Following that question, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I do not currently have a boyfriend. However, again, please do not take this as an invitation to slide in my DMs. What was your MOS? Why did you choose it? And what was the best part about it? I was military police in the Marines. And I chose it because I have had a passion in law enforcement since I was 15. The best part about it was, I mean, I just love being a cop. So the fact that I got to be a cop in the Marines, um, that was pretty, pretty phenomenal. Where do you get your headbands? I get my headbands from a company called Junk. And you can get them on their website or they actually have a lot of partnerships with other companies. For example, they do have, they do have a combat eye, combat iron line of headbands. So my combat iron headbands that are junk brand, I did get from combat iron while I was at the Arnold. Excuse me, sir. Will you ever share more about your past trauma? More likely yes than no. However, I want to wait for a time when I feel confident that negative comments about it are not going to affect my mental health. What camp are you stationed at in Oki? If you do not know what Oki means, it is short for Okinawa, which is also known as Okatraz, which is a little island off the coast of Japan, which is where I was stationed for my first two years in the Marines. I was stationed at Camp Hansen for the first few months, and then the rest of my time, when I was sent down to PMO, I was stationed on Camp Foster. I do not miss it. How can I burn fat around my abdomen? You. Cannot. Target. Fat loss. Fat loss will happen in certain areas of the body at various periods of time throughout your weight loss journey, throughout your fat loss journey. But it is solely dependent upon like your build and your genetics and things like that. You cannot target a specific area of the body and burn fat in that area. How long did it take you to film and edit your first video and what inspired you to start a channel? I actually went live as I was trying to figure out how to edit my video. It definitely took me several hours and I broke it up over a couple of days. Uh, what motivated me though was all my Instagram followers that have always been telling me to start a YouTube channel. You know, that's what this page is for, so that's what this YouTube is for. I just want to help people. You still have your tonsils, that's uncommon. Thoughts on getting them out? I would love to get my tonsils out. Apparently a requirement for um, Naval Hospital, or now the VA, to remove your tonsils is that you have to actually like contract strep throat at least six times a year. <laughs> Which I think is BS. 
please introduce me to the person that gets strep throat six times a year. But this is my second time having a tonsil related virus this year. Do you ever get creepy comments? Yes, I get creepy comments, messages, emails. All the damn time! Last question, uh, is that a death tattoo on your thigh? Yes, it absolutely is a deathbed tattoo on my thigh. That is my favorite band and has been since I first heard them my sophomore year of high school. Yes, I'm way behind the musical curve. Uh, however, yes, that is a deathbed tattoo on my thigh. I got it done when I was in Okinawa and it hurt like hell because they're really heavy handed out there. Well, thank you guys for tuning into my Q&A. Thank you to everybody who asked questions. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to stay engaged with me and my channels. And the next video is going to be a clothing try on haul with all of my sizes and the descriptions down below for my sponsors over at Comma Iron Apparel. And you can save with discount code SARAD15 at checkout. clip here I promise but I just got home from school and my single sway box was in the mail so I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing for you guys because I love this company so single swag is a subscription box monthly subscription box for single people however I would very much argue that even if you're not single this is still an awesome subscription box to be a part of because let me show you what's in here so here's a little card that's gonna come on top it's gonna show us everything it's gonna be in this fancy little single swag tissue paper. The first thing we have here, Lark Fine Foods Coconut Butter Cookies. I can't eat these right now, I'm so over GD. Um, here we have, what is this, Kevia. Let's see what's in this box. Kevia, Kevia. Oh, it's a little dish. Probably put like little jewelry in here, rings. Um, I would probably use this for earrings because I'm always like, setting my earrings down then they get knocked off or roll somewhere so just a cute little dish under eye gels so three gel eye packs from what is this south main and they're for reducing puffiness reduces dark circles and moisturized eye area which is perfect for me right now i'm wearing a lot of makeup under my eyes but i've been having a lot of issues with um dark circles puffiness and eye bags slash wrinkles Okay, hand cream, deep moisturizing, experience to calm moisturize palms, tips, and cuticles from Oliva Pharmacia. There's lots of stuff in this box. Legendary Eyes Mascara. I normally wear falsies while my eyelashes kind of grow back after having eyelash extensions, but I still love a good mascara. Oh yeah, this looks like a nice mascara. I like it. I like it a lot. Oriza Dewy Glow Balm for skin, lips, and nails. It's moisturizing, protective, anti-inflammatory, and soothing for all skin types. These usually mean jewelry. This is from Madeline Elizabeth. Looks like kind of like a rose gold. That's so pretty. Okay, so last thing in here, 
is from this is Ava and Chris. It's like a little wallet. That's so cute. This would be nice for like date night, just to keep like your ID and maybe a card or two. Thank you. Single swag, hashtag love yourself. Like I said, you guys, there's no reason that somebody that's in a happy committed relationship, wherever those people are, could not enjoy this box. I highly recommend it. Um, it's just a nice little gift to get from yourself once a month. Thank you again so much for watching my vlog. I have a laundry list of things that you guys really want to see from me, so stay tuned because I'm going to be posting a lot more. This one did not include a workout video because I've got some sort of virus. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hit comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.